we are going to discuss about design of semi supported beam in this example we have considered a semi supported beam having span 5 meter and having point load of 20 kilo newton let's start calculating the bending moment and shear forces those are things we need for design let's start calculating the support reactions since the load is not at the center support reaction will be varying so let's say this support reaction is R1 and this one is R2. We take the vertical equilibrium then R1 plus R2 equals 20 because the vertical reaction is 20 kN. We take moment about point A. Right? We consider anti-clockwise direction moment about point A then R2 into 5 equals 20 into 2 right from that we can calculate the r2 r2 is equal to 8 kilo newton from the first equation that is this equation r1 plus r2 equals 20 so r1 will be equal to 20 minus 8 that is 12 kilo newton right now let's calculate the bending moment for that we can consider two segments before the point load and after the point load. Let's see both the segments and it will be easy for us to understand. Say this moment is same. Here the R1 we have already calculated that is 12. MV is equal to now minus because the 12 is in the opposite direction 12 into x. Otherwise you can write m plus 12 into x equal 0. In the opposite direction no bending moment or reactions so i brought it in the first time without exchanging the, those to the other sides then x equals 0 m equal 0 when x x equal to 2 that's at the point load m will be minus 24 kilo now from that also we can derive the bending moment diagram but let's calculate the bending moment for ease of your understanding in the other side also we have 20 there here you have this distance as 2 meter this distance let's consider as x then we write to the equation for the bending moment m plus here the r is 12 so now we are going to follow the order m plus r 12 into x equals because 20 is generated bending moment in the other direction x minus 2 because this distance is x then this distance is 2 x minus right now we can write the equation for m is 20x here we have 12 x which will be minus when we go to the other side 20 minus 12 so will be 8 x then minus here 40 from this we can find the bending moments in the at the point load in the support so at the point load x equal to 2 meters then let's see m m equal 2 into 8 so 2 into 8 60 60 minus 40 that will be 24 x is equal to 5 that 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 is at the support m equal 0 now we know the bending moments before drawing the bending moment diagram let's start calculating the shear force also now the same diagram we consider initially and we consider for the, the shear force finding the shear force the shear force will be p the moment will be there but here we have a 12 so when you consider the vertical equilibrium p equals 12 kilo newton there's no variation in the other side also since there is no variation the wind, there won't be any change in the shear force now let's draw the bending moment and shear force diagrams of this first we draw the bending moment maximum bending moment will be here as we calculated previously here the bending moment will be zero here also bending moment will be zero but we have the maximum bending moment of 24 there and it will become zero when you go to the other side this value will become 24 now, when you come to the shear force now here the shear force will be 12 
right we calculated already there's no variation to it then we have point load of 20 so this is 12 this is 8 from that we can obtain the shape force diagram those shape force diagram very easy 12 plus 8 is the 20 the side should be 20 right so you now to the shear force diagram we have the bending moment diagram so if you know the bending moment and shear forces we can calculate the reinforcement you know the m from the level standard you can calculate the a if you know the v you can calculate the shear reinforcement from the level standard that is depend on your standard so you have to calculate the reinforcement area from this you know the bending moment and shear forces calculation and you can find the reinforcement from the relevant equations given in the code I hope that you understood the method of designing seam to supported beam. Let's meet again from a new video. Until then, bye.